Mama? Breathe. Sunflower. Rainbow. So many of us have questions about Stranger Things, don't we? Who are Eleven's parents? And why is her mom so crazy? Why hasn't Will found someone in the show? Is Jim Hopper going to tell us about his past? Who is Eleven's sister? And are there more? Well, I guess the sole reason for the last two seasons was to answer questions that were left unanswered in the first season. However, most of the questions are still unanswered, and all the audience wants to know when they'll find out the answers to them. So make sure you stick around, because here are all the biggest questions that were unanswered in the show Stranger Things. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Number 1. Russians and the Demogorgons We saw in the first season of this show that some mysterious activities were taking place in the Hawkins laboratory. These activities were soon linked to the rapid disappearances in the town of Hawkins. Will Byers also became a victim to this, and thus soon became part of the Upside Down. Later, it was identified that there were Russians who were trying to connect with the parallel world and were indulging in mysterious activities. The audience was left on the edge of their seats when they were not provided with a complete explanation of a few of the things related to the Russian workings in the Upside Down world. The first was, how did the Russians get hold of the Demogorgons? In other words, did they find the Demogorgons in Hawkins, or did they genetically create them? We were not shown the complete side of the Russian narrative, even though one might question how were the Russians working underground, and did anyone notice them? All of this adds to the complexities of the plot. Maybe the Duffer brothers wanted to leave a deliberate, unsettling feeling for the audience. Or maybe it was a flaw. Number 2. Eleven's Psychokinetic Powers Eleven is one of the leading protagonists of the show. At birth, she was taken to the lab and was treated as a sample. There were several experiments conducted on her which made her gain psychokinetic powers, the power to go from one place to the other, more commonly known as telepathy. However, she soon fled from the lab in order to save herself from the ongoing torture. She was rescued by Mike, who later became her love interest. Eleven is a character played by the very talented Millie Bobby Brown. She was recently seen in a Netflix movie called Enola Holmes. Millie was able to portray Eleven's power and vulnerability both at the same time. Eleven was the rescuer of the series. We saw her doing extremely heroic acts, as she saved Will from the threat of the Upside Down and later saved all of Hawkins by closing the gate between the two worlds. However, there are still many questions related to her powers that are unanswered. We saw her using her powers to see the activities of Billy when he was under the hypnosis of the Mind Flayer. Because Eleven was overusing her powers against the very powerful Mind Flayer, slowly, her powers were deteriorating. But in the last scene when she had to completely use all her powers to close the gates, she lost them completely. The directors and the creators left it unanswered as to why Eleven's powers were exhausted. Number 3. The Mysterious Case of Dr. Brenner Dr. Brenner owned the laboratory and used to conduct unethical experiments. Eleven was one of the experiments of Dr. Brenner, hence one can say that he was given a negative role in the TV show. Yet he was not given a lot of screen time, and he also became the victim of Demogorgons. When he went to Eleven's school to take Eleven as his prisoner once again, he was eaten by a monstrous creature. After that, we were not able to see Dr. Brenner on screen. So one might ask, where exactly is Dr. Brenner? According to producers Sean Levy and Dan Cohen, in an interview with Collider after the second season, Levy and Cohen directly confirmed that Dr. Brenner is alive and out there. Number 4. Chief Hopper's Death Fans of the series also have loved Hopper's character, played by David Harbour. Hopper was one of the most heroic and daunting characters. He was not scared of the Upside Down, the monstrous creatures, or the mayor of the town. He wanted to save Hawkins, and eventually he did. Another heroic act for which we love Hopper is that he took guardianship of Eleven. He raised her and treated her as his daughter. We might remember the last scene of Season 3 where amongst the chaos and destruction created by the powerful Mind Flayer, we saw the buyers, Mike and his friends, Eleven, and Hopper trying to close the gate between the two worlds. During this hardship, we lost Hopper, who consciously agreed to give his life away for his town. However, from certain conspiracies and the confusing end to Hopper, we don't actually know whether Hopper is dead or alive. In the recent teaser launched by the creators of the Stranger Things series, we saw Hopper in one of the scenes. He was seen as a 
prisoner working in a field filled with perpetual snow, and the place looked like it was situated somewhere in Russia. Now can you link the first question and Hopper's disappearance? Number 5. Byers and Eleven moving away from Hawkins In the last somber scene of the series, we saw Mike bidding farewell to the love of his life, Eleven. On the other hand, we saw Eleven sobbing about the death of Hopper. Similarly, the Byers were also seen showcasing their woes as they were leaving their house. In the scene, they had packed their bags and had gone away somewhere, but the end was rather incomplete, leaving behind several questions for the viewers. Where were the buyers shifting to? This was not told to us in the ending of the third season. In fact, it has also given rise to other related questions, such as, is the Mind Flayer going to come after Eleven and Will, even after they left Hawkins? Or, is the story going to move beyond this small town situated in Indiana? Will the long distance between the team of Hawkins, Will, Mike, Eleven, Nancy, etc., continue? Or will the old times return? The audience is eagerly awaiting the next season to satisfy their queries. Number 6. Rainbows and Sunflowers For some, this reference might be strange, but for those who watched the show with attention to detail, they know that Eleven's mother used to chant the phrase. In Season 1, there was little to no interaction between Eleven and her mother, as she was unaware of Eleven's existence. However, in Season 2, she met her in person. Eleven's mother was suffering from a psychotic disorder called catatonia, and thus used to repeat the two words, rainbows and sunflowers. In Season 3, even though Eleven saw her mother in transition from one world to the other, there was not much that the creators explored regarding her mother and this magical chant. Where is Eleven's mother? This remains unanswered, and hopefully the creators will settle the issue down in Season 4. Number 7. What about the other kids with power? We know that Eleven was a kid from the lab, and certain experiments were conducted on her. Thus, she got her supernatural powers. Similarly, there were other kids as well on whom the experiments were conducted by Dr. Brenner. In a few episodes, we even saw Eleven spending time with a few kids who lived as gangsters. There, she found a girl named Eight. We saw them in a few episodes as they used their powers to rob a market. Eleven was even seen wearing a punk outfit, but their plots were not shared. The audience is still unaware of their past and whether they will play an integral role in the upcoming seasons. Number 8. The Chemical Attack in one of the attacks by the Mind Flayer, the people of Hawkins consumed weird substances because the Mind Flayer was taking over their minds. Then, the diseased rats took over the town. Even though these acts were predicting something dangerous in the future, none of them were discussed later in the plot. Hence, one of the unanswered questions of the third season was, why did people start consuming chemicals? What purpose was it supposed to serve? Similarly, the significance of the diseased rats was also not really talked about in the season, leaving the audience unable to join all the dots from the chemical attack to the Mind Flayer taking over the town. Number 9. Where are the Wheelers? Mike, played by Finn Wolfhard, was the son of the Wheelers. They were a family of five individuals. We saw in many scenes that Mike's mother was interested in Billy, Darce Montgomery. However, her scenes did not go beyond that. While Mike was fighting against the dangerous and monstrous creatures, and the entire town of Hawkins was under threat, the Wheelers were nowhere to be seen, especially when their kids' lives were at stake. Even the daughter Nancy Wheeler was involved in the battle against the Mind Flayer, but Mr. and Mrs. Wheeler were absent throughout those scenes. Many of the parts in the three seasons of Stranger Things are kept secret from the audience. This could either be a tactic to attract the audience, or it could be a serious loophole. However, with another season in progress, we are more than excited to find the answers to our questions. And with this, we wrap up our video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.